Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. We've been doing this for over 20 years. I used to be a divorce mediator, but now I, I really believe in marriage. I know that marriage, when you know how to be married, can deliver unbelievable joy. And it's learnable. You can learn how. And happiness is yours for the taking. Believe it or not, you have to learn how to master your mind, of course. And love, unconditional love, isn't that what marriage is supposed to be about? And so this is not an uncommon question about husbands not wanting to have sex with their wives. And there's a multitude of reasons. Now, sometimes they're as simple as he is not a good performer and he's got problems, physiological problems, and so he doesn't want to be exposed. Other times, it's because he's fed up. He's not receiving... See, a lot of women and a lot of people in society think men get married mostly for sex, but it's not at all true. Men get married because women have something men don't have, and that's the connection to their heart. Now, a lot of women in our society, I'm just going to be honest, have closed their hearts off in this race to compete with men, which is insane. Women are literally superior to men in so many ways. They want to be like men, so they have this tough veneer. They close off their heart. They get rid of the vulnerability that they're supposed to have brought to the marriage. Now, when I say vulnerability, I'm not talking about your husband should be a complaint department and you're telling him about all your woes. I'm talking about what happens when you open your heart so you can feel the transmission of love back and forth. It has nothing to do with behavior. It has to do with where you're coming from and you're not taught this growing up. A woman biologically, physiologically, by nature, has been tied more to her heart than men. It's simple, isn't it? Who bears the child? Who raises the children? It's all the mother. So if a woman was like a man in that regard, she would be done with the child within an hour or two. Okay, I got to go play golf. So women are constructed differently, has a different influence on their minds, and they have this hard connection that the man knows subconsciously that he doesn't have. And so he turns to his wife for that. And in many cases, women have made sex something other than an expression of their love. And so they complicate this. They turn it into something else. And the man goes, this isn't worth it. And that's truly what is happening in most cases. Now, don't write a comment. You have no idea, blah, 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 blah. Don't bother. I know. I know there are circumstances that are not like this. But what I'm talking about, I've met with women for over 20 years, I'm talking about what is mostly happening with most women. If this isn't happening for you, then say, okay, this doesn't meet my needs. You don't have to get angry towards me. I'm not missing something. But most women have shut off their husband from their hearts. And so their husband doesn't connect, won't connect, with her at that level and even has buried resentment and so there's fighting there's a lack of harmony it's much worse or cold shoulder just he's doing his own thing doesn't really want to be around you and that's very sad because you have every opportunity to turn your marriage into magic, what it's supposed to be. Fulfilling with joy, fulfilling with love. Hopefully this has helped you. 
hopefully the light's starting to go on. Subscribe to the channel so you could start getting a feel for how I see marriage, because it's correct. I mean, I hate to say it, it may sound arrogant, but the whole, but I was a divorce mediator. I know what the therapists do, it's wrong. It's just simply wrong. We don't want to go into the past. We don't want to look at their childhood. We don't want to do all that, it's nonsense. We want to focus on making the future amazing, right? You have free will, you have volition. You can master your mind, that's how you do it. Leave a like, leave a comment, unless it's like I described before. And I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation so that we could be of service to you. God bless you and take care. Thank you.